Tickets are on sale for Broadway Indianapolis. They have officially announced the show lineup for the 2022-2023 season. Broadway in Indy is celebrating three big premieres along with three epic returns. And joining me live from Louisville this morning to talk about it all is Leslie Broker, the president of Broadway Across America Midwest. Leslie, good morning to you. How are you? Well, good morning. I'm terrific, especially after announcing the big season. It's all going great. Yeah, let's start with what is probably the most anticipated return, a two-week run of Hamilton. That's right. Well, you know, we didn't have enough seats for everybody the last run, and so to be able to get it back so fast uh, was just terrific, and folks love the show, so I'm, I'm really pleased. The season starts with Anastasia. Anastasia, you know, might be the one I'm most pleased with having return uh, because it was a show that we had announced pre-COVID and we're getting really close. All I've got left to deliver from that season is Cats, which we'll work on for next year. But having Anastasia, having Aladdin, I mean, it's really, it's a, it's a jam-packed season. Yeah, these are big hits for families, as you mentioned that. When will Hairspray be here? Hairspray is coming in in February. So, and do you know, it's been since 2005 since the show was here. What? So we think 2005? Right, wow. right. It's like we've got a whole new generation of folks who are going to get to see it. And, yeah. and it's such a fun show. Les Mis is still the world's most popular musical, and it will be here next March. It, next March, this will be the fifth play in the market, and it's certainly one of the shows. We always survey subscribers as well as season tic uh, single ticket buyers to find out what shows they want to see, and Les Mis is always, always at the very top of that list to come back. All right. So. Finally, tell me about Ain't Too Proud. Well, Ain't Too Proud is the story of the Temptations, and everybody loves a backstory, right? And so you get to hear all the ins and outs of how the Temptations made, you know, musical magic. So right. I think it's a show that everybody will fall in love with, and certainly it's a generational show. And the performances will be split between Old National Center and Clues Hall, so people have a choice of where they, where they want to go to see some of these fantastic shows. That's right. Season ticket holders get to experience both, but both venues are amazing, wonderful to work with, and they both fit our shows, you know, like a hand in glove. So it works really great. We we love Indianapolis audiences. Leslie Broker, thank you as always for coming on this morning and talking about it. You mentioned you just got back from New York City to see the show, so it's going to be an exciting time back here at home. That's right. There's lots on Broadway. It's back up and running, healthy. Um, there's Tony Awards are coming up, so we'll see lots of great new shows and hopefully get them to Indy. Absolutely. We'll talk to you soon. Be well. Thanks so much.